Good evening, everyone. So tonight's reading is who wants to fuck you and how do they want to fuck you? I am so sorry, but I am so in this energy right now. I think it's so fun and I love doing the readings like this. And um, as you see, we have the Witch's Wisdom Oracle here. And under that, we're going to have the Decameron Tarot. Okay. And so please be advised this these are explicit cards, the Decameron Tarot. So if you are under 18, please click off of my page, okay? I don't need any issues with anybody's parents. Just saying. But if you are here, you are here at your own decision. So with that, um, I just want to put out a little saying. The music in the background is my brother-in-law, Bad Ombre Music. He is the one who... Um, his song is at the beginning and the end of my videos. He is so fucking awesome. I love hearing him when I'm reading. I hear him especially when I'm prepping for a reading. Uh, so if you want to check him out, just give him a check out on Spotify. Believe it or not, you are doing a huge solid favor by doing that. Um, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But, however, um, welcome to your reading. Okay, so again, who wants to fuck you and how do they want to fuck you? We have three pals. We have pile one. Pile 2, Pile 3. We have the Witch's Wisdom Oracle here, which I will be reading out of the book most likely. Uh, and then we have the Decameron Tarot. The Decameron Tarot is very explicit. It has very suggestive uh, images. So you are here at your own risk if you are under 18. Um, if you are not under 18 and you are over 18 and bothered by sexually suggestive images, please click off this video, okay? This reading is for fun. And, um, you know, I just want to kind of put some messages out there, you know, who has their eye on you? Who wants to shag the hell out of you? Uh, let's get to it. Okay. Again, pile one, pile two, pile three, and I will see you at your pile. Alrighty. Pile number one. These are your cards. I wanted you to have a, um, a visual. You have, uh, water in bulk, Ostara, you have the queen of cups, and this is the Emperor. You have the Moon, Two of Swords, the World, and the Six of Wands. And I will see you at your reading. Alrighty, pile number one. I know I said I was going to go read the book for these meanings, but the truth is I want to go by the image and what I see. So please do not hate me. It is what it is. Um... I like to read intuitively, so please forgive me for that. Um, let's see here. Okay, so who wants to fuck you? So it's somebody who makes you feel like they can have a new start with you. It's like, I feel like it is a bad boy. I know that's going on a lot in my readings, but yeah. I feel like they're a bad boy or a bad girl, but you make them kind of have like this type of awakening. You make them realize like the real meaning in life. You make them realize the truth in matters. You make them see what's really important. And I feel like even they wouldn't even mind getting you pregnant. Like they seriously see you as spouse material, husband, wifey material. I feel like they're very, very oral man or woman. They want to eat you out, you know, or if it's um, a woman, you know, they want to suck your dick. I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> You know, they're very oral. They want to use their mouth on you. Um, let me see here. Someone really intuitive. Someone really, really, really sensual. They're a mystery to you. So if there's someone around you who exhibits this um, aura that's really sexy yet mysterious, they might be really quiet. You kind of see them, you know standing apart from the crowd and kind of observing the room chances are this could be your person and I feel like it's give or take with them like you know one minute you might see them really quiet you are attracted to their quiet nature but at times they're very loud and lively they're joking around they're kind of like the center of attention at one point
this can be a person with a lot of stress like they feel like the weight of the world on their shoulders they have to make a lot of important decisions if it's in the workplace it can be a manager a supervisor someone above you in work status uh, if it is one of your friends, it's probably like the alpha male or alpha female of the group. And, you know, they're the ones who call out all the shots. If it's in the family, it could be someone who's really, um, who's a really um, good friend and prominent within the family. Or just around you, I mean, this can be like a teacher, professor, someone who has some type of uh, higher position than you. Um, and however, you know, however they're uh, related to you or associated with you. Okay. But yeah, I mean, again, you make them feel pure regardless of their past. You make them see what's really important. And again, they see you as husband or wife material. They want to have a child with you. How do they want to fuck you? They're very, very oral. And I feel like if you are in a relationship or they are in a relationship, they wouldn't mind having a third party relationship with you. Hey, if that doesn't go, please don't get mad. You know, again, this reading is who wants to fuck you and how do they want to fuck you. So anything goes. It can be a married person, an older or younger person. Just depends. OK, so please keep that in mind. And I feel like they do want to be your teacher sexually. They want to show you how they love to be pleased and they want to please you and make you very, very satisfied. I feel like there might be some uh, rough sex involved. You know, please, if that affects you in a negative way, please click off this video. It is what it is. They want to conquer you. They want to be the best fuck that you've ever had. I mean, I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> I feel like this person is really cocky and arrogant when it comes to sex, when it comes to their sexual appeal. Um, but again, you know, I mean, they want to fuck you. They want to conquer you. They want to teach you a few things and they're very oral. They're all about pleasing. They want to get you off as well as them getting off. But most of all, they want to be the best sexual partner that you've ever had. Yet, it's like you make them feel pure. You don't, regardless of their past, it's like you give them like a renewal of some sort. And you make them see what truly matters. Like they see something in you like no other. And then again, I mean, they, they see you as husband or wifey material. They wouldn't mind having a child with you. Okay. Um, now, so far as what, who this partner is going to be. I'm not going to get into that again. This reading aims at two uh, specific questions, but that is your choice, okay? Uh, with that, that is definitely your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And with that, have a great night. Bye. All right, pile number two. So as I've explained, I kind of said, or I did say <laughs> that I was going to read the definitions out of the book for this reading. However, let me give you a quick visual of the cards. Usually I pause for you guys to see this. So these are your cards. You have Wiccan, Wiccan what now? Can't pronounce that word. Wiccan Reed, Wiccan Rede, the moon. Uh, Lunasa, you have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Cups, okay? So here are your cards, and I will see you at your reading. Alright, sorry about that. So at first I did move the camera there for you. Um, it's kind of hard to be structured with these readings when like so many messages are coming in. So please, again, don't hate me. It's just, it is what it is. Alrighty. So this is the first time I've actually taken notice of this card. Let's see. Wiccan read. read I don't even know. How, I got to Google this damn word. Look in a dictionary. By God, <laughs> forgive me. So bite the Wiccan law. Ye must imperfect love, imperfect trust. Eight words. The Wiccan read fulfill. Can ye harm none, do as ye will. Find ever mind the rule of three. What ye sends out comes back to thee. 
follow this with mind and heart. Find Mary ye meet and Mary ye part. Interesting. Okay. So they go according to a spiritual law. That's what I'm getting right away. They're really, really in tuned with the, um, the moon cycles or they know that, you know, nothing bad lasts forever. Nothing good. I mean, they enjoy the good while it lasts because they know, you know, the cycle is ever turning. Uh, Lunasa, prosperity. Lunasa for me reminds me of the concept of twin flames. So I believe a twin flame energy is connecting with you and they fill you sexually, emotionally, mentally. It is a meeting of the souls. Let's see here. Pile number two. Wow. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You have two cards where the man is getting down orally. You have, you know, this chick on a swing. And you know what? In each card where she's getting um, oral sex, it's like she has a couple partners in each card. <sighs> Let's see here. I don't take it as they want to have a threesome with you. I take it more as... They want to explore you sexually in each and every way. So let's see here. So yeah, this is a person around you, okay? I can't decipher if it's work, school, church, you know, a friend of the family, your friend. I don't know who it is, but I know it's someone who likes to follow. They they basically live by, um, by the book when it comes to life. Um, they follow like some type of spiritual rule or law and they kind of just go with the flow it's like if they're having they don't have bad days or good days it's like whatever happens happens and they kind of just roll with it so it's someone around you that's really chill they're really um they don't complain when something doesn't go their way and when something does go their way they enjoy it for what it is uh, they don't put emphasis on what goes wrong. They just accept it as a lesson or just understand that no matter what, it's going to pass. And again, they're really prosperous. And I feel like this could be a type of twin flame uh, energy. How do they want to fuck you? Again, I feel like they want to fuck you in each and every way possible. They are especially oral. They might want to get you on a sex swing. They might want to have you in multiple positions uh, <laughs> within one fucking. Um, the man definitely wants to dominate the woman. I feel like... Um, he wants to come at her fast. So yeah, this is someone who wants to fuck you with aggression. Fuck you. You know, they want to dominate you. Not BD, BDSM, but they do want to dominate you sexually. If you are open to it, they wouldn't mind a threesome. But I do feel like you are enough for them. And if you say no... They won't push the issue, but it's something that they're open to. So if you're open to that, go for it. If not, no worries. But yeah, I feel like if you do fuck this person, I mean, they want to give you the best orgasm possible. They want to fulfill your every need and desire. So if you communicate that to them, they can be one of the best sexual partners you've ever had. But again, you know, if you're a woman watching this, this is a man... Um, who does not mind taking control. And if you are a man watching this, this woman does not mind writing you. I mean, she wants to be on top knowing that she's satisfying you while she's, you know, maneuvering her body to, you know, uh, slide you in and out of her and really, really, you know, just, she just wants to feel you inside of her and she wants to know that she's pleasing you. Like, I feel like if this is a woman on top of you, fucking you, like, just your facial expressions, you really getting off on the way she is sexually satisfying you will get her off even more. Uh, if you're a lady watching this, again, you know, he wants to see you being pleased as well. Gentlemen, this woman also likes to give oral sex. So if that is something you enjoy, you just won the jackpot. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, man or woman, this is someone who is open to a threesome. And if not, it's fine. If you're not open to a threesome. 
But yeah, it's like the man really admires the woman. He likes to grab up on her. I mean, regardless who wants to fuck you, how do they want to fuck you? They want to fill up on you. They want to, they want to have some rough, aggressive sex with you, you know, but they want to make it enjoyable. They're willing to please you in each and every way. So you're not just going to get missionary all night or doggy style all night. You're not going to have to put in all the work. They want to explore you in each and every position that you're willing to explore with them as well. You will have multiple orgasms with this partner and that's what they want to give you. But yeah, if there's someone around you who you notice kind of does things by the book, if you see someone who kind of has a go with the flow attitude and you just have a connection with this person, chances are this is the person who wants to fuck you. So do look out for that. Alrighty, so pile number two, that was definitely your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. With that, you have a great day. Bye. Pile number three, these are your cards. So you have altar dedication, pinnacle respect, hearth homecoming. And then you have temperance, the eight of pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups, Judgment, and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And I will see you at your reading. Alrighty, pile number three. Let's see here. This is someone who is really dedicated to what they do. I mean, it could be someone at work, they're dedicated to their job. Uh, someone who's dedicated to some aspect in their life, whether it be home, school, kids, um, work. They're just really dedicated to whatever they want to dedicate their time to, a hobby, whatever. They're really spiritual. They really believe in, you know, what cannot be explained. And I also feel like they're very respectful. If they're spiritual in that sense, they're respectful to everyone else's religion and beliefs. When you're with this person, you just feel so at home with them like no other. Um, I feel like you can really talk to this individual about anything and everything. So I feel like this could be a really, really good friend. Um, or maybe even someone at work that you're acquainted with. But you guys seem to talk about a lot and they seem to get you. You get them and you two are very good um, friends when it comes to being around each other especially. How do they want to fuck you? Let's see. Oh my god. I feel like mostly they respect you. You're so pure in their eyes. And I mean, they're trying to get to know you so they can build something with you. Whether that is a friendship, love. I feel love mostly. But they respect you. I do feel like they just fantasize about you for now. They want to get you from behind while they're playing with you from the front. Especially if you're a woman, like they want to play with your clit while they're fucking you from behind. Um, if you're a man, they want you to fuck them from behind while you play with them, whether it's their boobs or their clit. I mean, they want to fill you. But yeah, it's like they want you to be their knight in shining armor. They want to be a sort of damsel in distress. And I feel like they get off on sex that is... <laughs> is sneaky like you know one of you might be under the table while the other one pleasures the other um orally or with their fingers or hands you know if you're like at an event they might get you somewhere private and fuck you real quick um i feel like they get off on like trying to like act normal while they're getting pleased sexually if that makes sense just like in this card the literal sense you know she's right there pouring it reminds me of a religious figure you know she's pouring him a drink while the guy is underneath the table eating her out so they kind of get off on that you know like acting like nothing's going on but everything is going on and more but again, man or woman, it's like the man sees the woman as someone who is pure, who is like a saint, you know, and she is, no matter how raunchy she is in the bedroom, he just sees her as this uh, saintly being. With the Knight of Cups, again, they want to be your knight in shining armor. They bring romance and love making. They want to make love to you, not fuck you. They want to make love to you. 
but I feel like they're too traditional to a sense. And the thing is, this is the only pile though where it's like you're going to find out soon that this person has a thing for you, whether or not you know straight out that they want to fuck you, or that they have a crush, or that they want to ask you on a date. So you're going to know who this is very, very soon, and I feel like you're going to be practical about it and appreciate it at the same time, but again, the ball will be in your court, and you will be able to tell them whether or not you will go ahead and go on a date with them. I do feel like this is a very attractive individual, though. I do feel like they would be a good partner. I don't see if they're going to be a partner or not, but I do feel like they respect you. They're dedicated to whatever they set their mind on, and you feel at home with this person. You already know this person. If not, it is someone that you're going to feel like you can be yourself with completely. Alrighty, so pile number three, that was your reading short but sweet. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And with that, you have a great night. Bye.